you quake when you hear the boom of thunder and see a flash of lightning in the sky? You're not alone. Millions of people and animals have what's known as astrophobia, or fear of thunder and lightning. But how does lightning even occur? It all starts when a cloud known as a cumulonimbus forms in the sky. Better known as a storm cloud, the dark gray giant reaches high up into the sky. The higher the cloud gets, the colder it becomes, and little pieces of ice and hail begin to form. As the ice rubs together, this little thing called static electricity is created. This is an imbalance of electric charges. As positive and negative charges separate, they look for the other. As you can see here, the positive charges bolt to the negative charges, both within the same cloud, a different cloud, and on the ground. This creates the phenomenon of lightning. It is also why we have cloud to cloud lightning, also known as sheet lightning, and cloud to ground lightning, also known as fork lightning. You may have been told that there is such thing called heat lightning, where it is just a flash, but there is no bolt. This is a myth. Although you don't see the bolt, it did still occur. Thunder is the sound produced by lightning. It occurs when the air explodes after it's heated up by the lightning. The speed of light is much faster than the speed of sound, which is why we see the lightning bolt before we hear the bolt. Did you know, to calculate where a lightning strike is in relation to you, count the seconds between the lightning flash and the thunderclap. Every five seconds equals one mile. The closer the lightning strike is to the thunderclap, the closer the lightning bolt was to you. If you find yourself caught outside in a thunderstorm, do you know what to do? A. Find indoor shelter or low ground if you cannot get inside. B. Continue with your outdoor activity. Or C. Stand under a tree. If you answered A, you're correct. Seek indoor shelter immediately. That is the only place where you will be completely safe from lightning. If you are nowhere near an indoor structure, seek out a vehicle, pavilion, or shed. And as an absolute last resort, get to the lowest ground possible. Do not continue with an outdoor activity during a lightning storm. This increases your chances of being electrocuted drastically. Even if you aren't struck by lightning, you could still be electrocuted through groundwater. Do not stand under a tree or any tall object for that matter. The electric charges that make up a lightning strike are very unstable. This means they will strike whatever charge is closest to them. Being close to an object that is statistically more likely to be struck puts you at more risk of being electrocuted. Although your chances of being struck by lightning are approximately 1 in 700,000, you will almost always suffer long-term effects. Each bolt of lightning contains as much as 1 billion joules of energy and is 5 times hotter than the sun at 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And now you know where lightning comes from and just how dangerous it can be. So if you're ever caught in a lightning storm, your best course of action is to find shelter and wait it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new in this video. As always, drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram for more Earth and Space Science related content. I hope you have a great day.